What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and today we're back for another Minecraft video and we're going to be taking the RTX 3090 GPU for a spin again but this time it's not going to be on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, it's actually going to be on Minecraft Java Edition. So we're going to be doing a few different things in this video, so it's going to be similar to a few other videos out there where people show what FPS you can get on Minecraft on the RTX 3090. So we're going to be doing some benchmarks and stress testing, testing what FPS we get on the view distance turned up aka the render distance but we're also going to add a new little segment into the video where i'm going to show you some of the coolest texture packs and the coolest shaders together on the rtx graphics card so i'm going to show you ray tracing rtx texture packs shaders with different things like volumetric lighting and crazy effects and just see what the best graphics we can get on this graphics card and how well it runs with these crazy graphics. So this video will also be timestamped so you can click the video bar below to skip to the parts which you want to watch and without further ado let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so right now we're in a Japanese map, and as you can see, it is actually raining. This is just a really nice looking map. You can see the textures are different. We are actually running a texture pack right now. So this is going to be the segment of the video where we're going to test out the graphics. So as you can see, if we go into the options on resource packs, we have a world resource pack. So this is specific to the map we're playing. This is a Japanese texture pack because we're on a Japanese world. But since we're in Optifine, because obviously Optifine we're going to use to test out all these graphic settings, we can go into the shaders and we're going to use the Sonic Ever shaders because these are the highest quality ones. We want to really push the limits of the game. So we're going to go on to Sonic Ever's renewed shaders, which is the newest one which I downloaded a few days ago off the website. And we're going to just see what graphics we can get on this shader. So right now it's night time. And you can see already over here, there's a light source, which is illuminated from literally miles away. That's the light source, which is being shot from the lightning in the sky. So let's set the time to day. And let's see what it looks like in the daytime. So this is what the resource pack looks like. Okay. And this is obviously running with Sonic Ever shaders. So already on the ground, we have all of these really nice rain reflections. And the rain is obviously reflecting off the ground. The only thing which I don't like, I would say, is probably the rain particles. Because they're just the flat blue normal Minecraft color. And it kind of takes you out of the graphics, which we have right now. So everything just looks absolutely crazy. But look at all these bats through here. Like, we can see all these bats flying around this little Japanese neighborhood. All these textures are pretty crazy. So I'm going to switch up the texture packs, and we're going to try out different maps with different texture packs, different shaders. But this is pretty crazy, okay? Even these mobs, they just completely look taken out of the game. Like, this is supposed to be realistic, but then we have these Minecraft sheep. As you can see, all the windows in this pack, they have reflections off them as well. And especially when it's raining, you get kind of a feel for how the weather is like. So we're going to turn on the FPS right now, just to give you an idea of what FPS we have. So you can see the FPS meter is here, so we're getting around 90 to 100 FPS. And obviously if we go into normal mode, where we have the HUD shown, you can see we have around 91 FPS right now. And it's going down, it is actually dropping to like 50 and then going back up. And you should be able to see that above my face cam. So already you can see Minecraft, we have reflections on all the blocks. We have this really nice set of rain particles, which just looks amazing. And if we go into the video settings and then we go into shaders, you can see that we don't have everything turned up to max. So I'm literally going to turn on everything to max and just see how this graphics card handles it. Because if you don't know, basically Sonic Ethers is like a crazy quality texture pack. And probably not even the best graphics card, which is the one that I have for 3090 could probably even run this texture pack on the highest settings. We're probably going to lag, especially with all the weather effects and stuff. So I'm going to turn this up as far as we can to two. The shadow quality, we're going to turn up. And this gives us a true representation of what everything actually looks like on the very best settings. Because right now we're running them on pretty basic settings and we want it just to look amazing. So we'll turn up the shadow quality as well to three times. I don't even know what these some of the settings do, like hand depth. Old hand lighting, default, okay. This seems good enough. So we're gonna press done. And right now you can see the FPS has dropped drastically. Like since we've turned everything down, you can see we are actually visibly getting some performance hitches. So right now we have 30 FPS on average, which is half of what you expect. Like most people like to play on 60 FPS. And you can see right now we have 30 FPS 
even dropping to 20 in some areas of the world. And this is because we have Sonic Evers. And this is running on an RTX 3090 with an i9-10900K. So even with literally the best hardware, running the best graphics on Minecraft is still actually lagging the system, okay? And you can see on the video settings, we have the render distance only on 12 chunks. So we can turn that down to eight chunks and we don't really get any visible FPS improvements at all. So it's actually kind of crazy how like even the best hardware can't even run like the best graphics in Minecraft at a high frame rate. So this is why you usually have to turn everything down in Sonic Others. If we just sit from a static position, you can kind of see what everything looks like in the world with these graphics. So now we could actually try a different shader. You can see these windows can be pilled up and down, which is part of the texture pack, which is pretty cool. And I don't think we can actually go inside these houses because these are actually trap doors. And this is what the map looks like. It's just pretty crazy with the weather effects. I'm going to put weather on clear. So if we put the weather to clear so we don't have thunder and lightning and rain and kind of just see what everything looks like. And obviously putting the weather on clear will clear up all of those rainy patches as well. So this is what it looks like in daytime mode on full lightness. So this is the full bright mode on daytime. So everything looks visibly a lot better right now. But like we said before, we still have performance issues because the frame rate is dropping still down to as low as 30. So it's not a very high consistent frame rate but everything looks pretty amazing. Like all these shadows being drawn onto the objects, it looks like real life. And this texture pack is not photorealistic, but it has some pretty nice looking textures. Now, one thing to note is this is actually an RTX texture pack. So this is a ray tracing texture pack. So you can see over here, we do have real reflections and all of the shadows and reflections are different per block. So obviously on this really shiny matte wood texture, we have more light reflecting off it. But if you have like a dull, brick wall texture there's literally no shadows or light jumping off that although you will see a lot of shadows on trees so it's pretty interesting how each different block has a different behavior and everything kind of shines different it really depends where the shadows are being drawn and what the weather's like in the map so this is pretty crazy so let's try a different shader out on this map now we've shown you sonic evers which is literally the best one let's jump into another shader. So we're going to enable BSL shaders because BSL shaders is literally one of the other best shaders in the game. Now we have a few different options in here like specular maps and different types of options in the video settings and you'll see that the BSL shaders it is visibly not as impressive but as you can see we are getting a higher FPS in the shader so we're getting an average of around 50 FPS around 45 to 50 FPS with max settings on this shader so it still requires a lot of performance from the best graphics card. Let's just jump into the video settings and see what else we can do with this. So we have all the animations turned on, all the max particles. Details, we basically have all the max details on. Smooth FPS. So this actually does turn up the FPS. So we had smooth FPS turned off, but when we turn it on, it does actually stabilize the FPS a little bit. I turned this off on my old PC because it made everything lag, but visibly this has actually improved the performance of the game. So we could turn on smooth FPS as well. This looks pretty cool. The textures look really nice, but it's not really as close to photorealistic as we wanted. So we're going to move on to a second map now. We're going to try a combination of different shaders on some other maps and kind of explore what everything looks like with some new texture packs as well. Then at the end of the video, we're going to jump into Minecraft Vanilla and see what the performance is from the 3090 on vanilla Minecraft with no enhanced shaders or textures. Because I'm really curious how this handles the game on a really high render distance when we're not using any kind of enhancements graphically to the game. Okay, so I have a few different levels here. So some of these are old levels, some of these are new maps. I've downloaded these various maps off planetminecraft.com. So if you do want to kind of get some really nice looking worlds and you wonder where I'm getting them from, you can download them off Planet Minecraft. So I'm going to go on this Homer Rotomo castle, which is kind of like an ancient Japanese looking castle. So we're going to use a different resource pack for this. And I still have all these Christmas packs from some of the old videos. We're going to load this Mi Yo-Yo pack. And as you can see, as we fly around the map right now, we're getting around 64 FPS. Sometimes it's going up to the high 80s and sometimes the low 40s, but it's running a lot smoother than it did on Sonic Heathers. And this is using BSL shaders with this Japanese map and a brand new different texture pack. So let's change the shaders and we're going to change the shaders to a different one. So let's change them to Silda's Vibrant shaders, for an example. As you can see, the performance in this shader is a lot higher, but it just doesn't really visually look that great whatsoever. This is why everyone seems to use Sonic Evers. Seuss Renewed. 
The only problem with obviously using Sonic Ethers is it has a huge performance impact on Minecraft. This is what the map looks like with the best shader that we can possibly get for it. It still looks too close to Minecraft because we're not using a non-vanilla texture pack, we're using like a really close to vanilla texture pack. So I'm going to switch things up and try and change the texture pack to make it more realistic, okay? Because this texture pack, it does actually have RTX features in this texture pack because you can see the reflections on everything does actually look a whole bunch better than they usually do. You can see the sun glare coming from there and it is actually bounding onto this wood piece. And this metal over here is actually reflective as well. You can see that it's reflecting a lot of the light sources around it. So there are some really subtle vanilla Minecraft ray tracing features in this texture pack. So let's just change to another texture pack. We're going to change to the RTX Beta Foundational Decor texture pack. This is just another RTX mode texture pack I downloaded online. So already we can see a lot of different features in comparison to the last one. So you can see there is actually some reflections here. There's too many shadows being drawn onto these blocks, so it's hard to see the reflections. But the light being drawn onto them looks better. But you can see that the light reflections on this block here, which was metallic in the last pack, isn't actually drawing many effects onto it. It really depends which shade you use and which blocks are present in the map. So for an example, the best thing to test it would be to actually use some blocks which have metallic features. Let's just spawn things like gold blocks, iron blocks, anything that you would expect to be metallic and things like diamond. And then we'll place them on the floor and we can kind of test how everything looks because these are the blocks which have metallic features. Now, as you can see, diamond hasn't had any kind of effect or change in this pack, but there's some pretty crazy changes over here to blocks like iron and gold. So we're gonna place these where there's more of a sun shine onto them. And as you can see, they, they draw a shadow onto the ground in front of them, which stretches, which is very realistic. And then we have the gold block, which is metallic. And you can see it kind of shines around it. But the iron block is probably the biggest example of the ray tracing in this texture pack. Cause you can see the block completely changes depending which angle we look at it. And it actually reflects parts of the world, like this block in front of it, onto the block. So it's kind of like a mirror that's different based on the lighting that reflects onto it. So it's kind of crazy to see these ray tracing effects in Minecraft Java Edition. Because to see these usually, you have to play Windows 10 Bedrock. But with this texture pack, we can actually see them in real time. So let's jump into another map. So this is a really interesting experiment. What I've gone ahead and done is I've actually ran two different RTX texture packs alongside each other. So the first one that we've ran is the Me Jojo texture pack and then the RTX Beta Foundational one. So as you can see, they kind of work alongside each other. So you can see the game is pretty laggy. It's, it's around 30 FPS, but you can see there is actually reflections in these blocks which as we go from left to right, you can see the shadows are reflected in them, which is a lot harder to see because of the placement of the light. But it does actually make the world a lot better because it's actually crazy how shaders look in comparison to Bedrock Edition RTX mode because it looks completely different. Now you can see the darker areas look really nice, but the outside, there's not really those kind of reflections which we want. So to take a good look at these reflections, like we said before, you have to use blocks that actually are supposed to reflect light, like glass. Now, the glass doesn't really do much, so it doesn't really look that impressive. But in this texture pack, which we've overlaid on top of the other one, the reflections on some of the blocks are a little bit different. So let's take a look at this. So let's put the block in a place where the light will actually be drawn onto it. You can see this has been changed into a metallic surface block this is the iron block so it looks like the kind of material you'd have inside like a van or a lorry but you can see the reflections on it are pretty crazy and this is what the other texture pack actually does so let's take a look at some of the other blocks in the game so the first one which has actually been changed is the different stained glasses in the game so this is something which is the same in the windows 10 minecraft edition they did actually change some of the various colored glasses in the game so we can kind of take a look here as you can see, these glasses, they look a little bit different. They do actually draw a little bit of light onto them. And although they kind of look normal, if you look at them, they actually draw shadows on the objects which are actually behind the glass face. There is some difference in it to Minecraft Vanilla. And you can see that the light refracts 
and reflects off these glass blocks a lot different to how they usually do. So that's one thing that's been changed. Then these are piston blocks in this texture pack. I don't know why they look like this specifically, but these are probably one of the most reflective blocks in this pack as well. They are a little bit glitchy, but you can see that a lot of these blocks have completely different reflections than they usually do. Now, one thing that's interesting when you're testing out a ray tracing texture pack or shader setup is how the lights look indoors. So we have these prismarine blocks connected to a light so you can see what that looks like. And then we have shroom lights, which illuminate completely differently. Like the actual style of how the light spreads and how it appears is a lot different as well. And we can also try that out with the redstone lamps, which we can illuminate with a torch. And as you can see, these look a whole bunch better than they usually do. So this is obviously in part due to the shader, but the resource packs obviously help with this too. Right now, I'm actually running a different setup. So what we're doing is we're still going to run the Sonic Ether shader, but we've actually got a new resource pack, which is the Realistic Textures resource pack. Okay, so I've downloaded this one. This gives us some real high definition textures. And along with the shader, you can see the water in this texture pack just looks absolutely amazing. So this is what the world looks like right now. We are running on around 30 to 50 FPS, which is the kind of usual we seem to be getting on Sonic Ethers. So if you imagine running this on a lower graphics card, like a 2080 or an older gen, to think that you still won't get 30 FPS on Minecraft with these kind of graphics is still pretty crazy. But this is what it looks like. So you can see we do actually have really realistic wood textures over here. The paintings looks nicer. The indoor interior lighting just looks crazy good. And if we go over here, we can kind of see the back porch of our base with the water flowing over. So I'm just going to explore the map and kind of give you a little routine tour of it. Now you can see below we have the reflections of the light on these blocks here, which change based on the player's position, which look really nice. So there is some more reflection over there. So let's just take these boats which we set up earlier and let's head over to the shoreline where we can actually go to this manor because the whole point of this map is we're actually in some kind of cherry blossom forest. So let's go over to this manor and take a look at this. So if we go up close to the wood, you can see the wood looks super realistic as well. So this texture pack, although it is kind of photorealistic in some areas, it does kind of have the classic Minecraft style to some of the blocks like grass. So even though everything does look really nice around, it's not 100% realistic, but it has a lot of ray tracing style features in this texture pack which look pretty crazy. So let's continue walking through here. So everything looks crazy. You can see even the corners of the wood are reflecting the light on as well. I'm just stopping to show you these features because obviously these are pretty crazy graphical features for Minecraft. And if we can go inside the house, we can see that all the shadows of the blocks above are being drawn onto the ground. And without the light, it completely just removes all the light source. Like, you do actually have a real big need to actually illuminate everything indoors when you're running shaders, because it really does bring out the darkness and the shadows a lot. So, here is our little fire in the middle, and then obviously we can go around and we can go upstairs. We need to find some steps to go up. And even the rainfall falling through into our building is making everything wet, and you can see the real small little ripple effects, which actually do drop on the steps. So this just looks really crazy. Here's our little armor setup. And everything just looks really cool. So this is the realistic textures with Sonic Ether shaders. Sonic Ethers is obviously with no doubt the most stress testing shader pack in Minecraft. So that's the reason why we've tested it for this build. So you've seen the kind of FPS we get when we're running texture packs like this one that you can see the glass looks so much better. These kind of texture packs and these kind of shaders. 